Hey everybody, I've been promising a demo of the GoDaddy Pro product for a while now, and I'm finally getting around to doing it. <laughs> for those who don't know, GoDaddy Pro is the same as Manage WP. They acquired Manage WP a while back, and this is the same platform. And what it allows you to do is to update all of your websites from one dashboard regardless of where they're hosted. So when you log in, after you've added some websites, this is what your dashboard looks like. And when you log in, it automatically goes and syncs and looks for anything that needs to be updated. And as you can see on this screen, I have nine plugins that need to be updated. Four here, four here, and one here. So the four here, when I click on that, I can see here are the websites that need to be updated. If I want to go ahead and update those, that plugin, I just click here and click update. Or I could select all of them and just say update. And then it keeps you abreast of its progress up here in the right hand corner, but you don't have to wait for those things to finish to go on and do other things. So let me just go over this dashboard for a second. First, you've got your overview. And then if I click here on websites, you can see all the websites that I have loaded into GoDaddy Pro. Some of these are old business sites, some of them are demo sites, and some of them are client sites. You can also list your clients. I'm not going to click on that since uh, it is the list of my clients. And then um, you've got add-ons where you can pay a little extra to get some extra services. And let me explain. So if you'll notice over here on the right where it says services, you've got backups. And those backups happen, I believe it's once a month. I have a regular backup on my websites. And this is just an extra backup. But you can purchase the backup service for $2 a month for each website, and it will do more incremental backups. Then you can check security. So 11 of my however many sites, I have 13 sites, have not been checked. Two of them I checked, and they're clean. So if you want to check the security on a site, all you have to do is click here, and it lists all your websites. And then you can pick one and check the security. Let's just check the security on my site. Then it goes off to do it. Now it actually took a little longer than that. I cut that out of the video, so you didn't want to have to watch the timer go. But, but this is the screen you get back with the checking of the security. Now you can also check performance. And you can see that I've checked it on one website, and it came out at fast. Let's check one of my other websites that's a demo site and see how it comes out. Once again, that took a little longer than what I'm showing here, but you can see that it comes back and it shows me all of the performance issues. And I can even drop this down and it'll tell me even more detail about what the issues are. This is just a demo site, so I'm not all that concerned about the speed of it. I haven't touched it in quite a while. It was just to show you an example. The other things that you can do from this services menu is you can monitor external links and fix them. You can monitor uptime. You can get SEO website rankings and analytics. Now, as I may have said, I don't know because I've had to re I've had to re-record this because my microphone wasn't working. <laughs> but if I didn't say it before, I'm not using all the features. And in the previous video that did not record the voice, <laughs> I showed you how you can use this to reduce your overhead that usually comes from post revisions. And I guess we can get rid of those as well. So I'm going to say select all and optimize. And now everything is optimized and it's getting rid of the post revision. And this column right here, this column right here shows you the status of the websites. For example, I have eight that have no updates. All 13 have SSL turned on. I need, I've got five updates available, and all of these happen to be WordPress websites. Now let me show you something else cool. I leave this running all day because if a client calls and I need to go into their website, I can just, this is actually one of my websites, I can just click there and it'll log me right in. I don't have to go to their site, click on the login, and all of that. It just immediately logs me into the website. So that's just a quick little overview of the GoDaddy Pro product and how I use it to save time. Like I said, I leave it running all day and I'll come in here 
and click on this little circle thing up here to sync it every now and then. And that way I stay really on top of my updates whenever they are needed. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay productive, stay strong, and I'll see you soon.